After the shooting of a project is completed, have you ever wondered what happens to that piece of film? What process does it go through after it is shot and before it lands in the hands of editors for the refining and completion? Well, it's a technical process called color correction, which is where this guy comes in. My name is Willie Lawton. I'm a dailies colorist and I work at Photochem Film and Video in Burbank. I've been at this company for 30 years. I came in as a tape operator uh, or as a or mastering assist, they call it. And that's where I started. I did that for about two years and then I got into color correction. Uh, as a dailies colorist, I go through footage that was shot on a production either that day or the day before. I go through all the material, I color correct it, I balance it in terms of contrast, saturation, exposure, even skin tones. And when I hand the footage over to an editor, I want to make sure he has nice, cohesive material to work with. Another important aspect of Daily's color correction is quality control. I am literally the first set of eyes to look at the footage. So I work on a lot of feature films, uh, commercials, music videos. I worked on Hateful Eight, Murder on the Orient Express, Tenant, Dunkirk, Nope. My passion for this work started when I was younger. I did photography, worked a little bit with 8mm film, and I really loved the aspect of filmmaking. Of course, I made my little productions, and I love watching movies. Sometimes even when I watch movies, I can't really get into them because I'm looking at the color, I'm quality controlling them. God, in school, we did news broadcasts. Me and a buddy would roll some 8mm film, monster footage, stuff like that started me getting into uh, loving film. I did have a job for a couple of years at another post house doing duplication, which is copying tapes. When I got here, I was a mastering operator. I was assisting the colorists. And back in that day, we had three shifts going. A position came about on the night shift. So I actually trained here to be a colorist. We have some of the best colorists here and they stepped up to train me. One of the first projects I worked on was, uh, if I remember, Walker, Texas Ranger. And I would get the footage every single day and color correct it. That was a great experience. I love seeing a project through from beginning to end. It's, it's a lot of fun working on material that other people haven't seen yet. People go to the movies and they don't know that this movie was shot a year ago. It's a lot of work. Making films is not easy. I mean, the amount of time they spend on the set, the amount of footage they shoot, the amount of people they need, and even post-production is a lot of work. And editing is a lot of work, and it takes a lot of people. And some people don't realize that, but that's one of the things I've learned. The first time I saw my name on a credit, that was a lot of fun. It was actually a theatrical movie and I ended up taking my family to go watch the movie. And now my family always sits through the credits, whether I worked on it or not. That's the thing we do, we sit through credits. When everybody's leaving the theater, we sit through credits. I love the company, I love coming here, I love the people. I love to see the product completed all the way through from beginning to end. I love being involved in the whole thing. At the end of the day, once I'm done with all the footage and I've got everything organized and everything has been transferred and the DP is happy, that's satisfying. And when he tells me he's liking what he's seeing, that puts a smile on my face.